I did too. I never said that. An asshole. Are, are you the designer of your look, your hairstyle, the clothing? Oh, yeah. Everything? Do you think someone else could come up with this? <laughs> that is really impressive. They're not exactly the shape. <laughs> Do you think that's better, just not to give them such a big... I don't think it's better. It's just what I'm doing right now. And why? Because I want to. So someone who knows about sound better come up here and explain something to me. <clears throat> I'm waiting. People think that if you're a girl, you're going to be a pushover, and they can get away with more. They can um, kind of pull the wool over your eyes. You're not going to be as strong as a man in, in like getting what you want, demanding what you asked for. But um, I just surprise them when they see that they're wrong. Uh, and because I think there are similarities between you and a cat. You're kidding me. Yeah. I hated the Italian movie. I didn't understand it. Because she never had sex. <laughs> Do I have to listen to this? Come on up. <laughs> Should we let her come up? Yeah. No, don't, please. Come on, Courtney. I never asked you to name an award after me, did I? Michael who? Now, I see uh, uh, <laughs> these pictures uh, on the internet of some of your top stars of the day without their underpants. I remember one night right here a long, long time ago. I brought you a pair of underpants. You gave me a pair of underpants. Yeah. And I still have them. <clears throat> yes, I do. Maybe you could send them to Britney. <laughs> I mean, if you've got it, flaunt it, right? Yeah. Thanks. 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 Neat. Anybody who says my show is neat right. has to go. Let's sell it like a video single. It's never been done before. And, you know, the controversy just happened. It wasn't planned, but, you know. But in the end, you're going to wind up making even more money than you would have. Yeah, so lucky me. <laughs> Proud of being. I want to have silence or I will not Lady speak. I'm mystified. I'm, maybe she'll tell me one day. That's really bizarre. Yes, well, rather transparent, wouldn't you say? I'm going to go on tour again. Yeah, when? Next summer, don't, I mean, <laughs> God, you're being very surly. Well. <laughs> but then we're at the party and what happens? Bette Midler walks over, who's my idol, right? Yeah. Your fans will love the film, I think, but some people are going to find sections of it offensive. Well, that's their problem, though. You, you don't if care? No, of course not. Yeah, what is driving you nuts here? What's, what's troubling you? About you or life in general? Well, all right, let's start with life in general. <laughs> no, let's just get back to you. Okay, fine. It feels uh, reductive. Is that good? Look it up. Oh, but you know, we're in a conservative town. And that is another reason to not want to live in Chicago. Aside from the fact that Oprah Winfrey lives here. I think that they're definitely an advantage. I think you're and making kids a... only, I'm sorry, but you know. I have a problem with the fact that there's no air in here and I'm gonna die. Open the door now. I'm suffocating. Can I offer you my interview question? But I wouldn't trade it for anything. I'm very happy with the choices I've made, right? What's the worst thing about being famous then? that you have to answer stupid questions. But uh, this is your home? That is, well, it's one of my homes. Oh, I'm not my. bragging or anything. Yeah. Can I ask you this one about you and Maura Beatty? How are you getting on? Can you ask me first? You ask, you let me answer. If you can ask me, then mm -hmm. you can ask the question. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, can't ask me. <laughs> you think that the accept acceptance changed? Acceptance by who? Yeah, by the press for example, of your work, of well, yourself. Well, first of all, the press has always given me a hard time. Somebody stuck some big fat man up in the front to give me dirty looks all night long, I swear to God. <coughs> and don't hide back there, Warren. Get over here. What do you think is the most tiresome current trend in music? Tiresome current trend? Ooh, covering other people's songs. That tiresome. Really tired of that. Mm. Do you think that's on the way out? I hope so. Some people think diva's a bitch. Some people think diva's a, a grand dame, um, a good old girl, a, a, I don't know, you know, a goddess. And yes, I do think I am. All of those things.
Oh, Los Angeles was hard that way. I mean, I've always found it a little weird that celebrities assume a friendship with you just because you're a celebrity, too. You know, one question. You, you started off from way down at the bottom, and now you're... Well, where else does everyone start? Cel cel I, I didn't watch TV when I was growing up. And look how I turned out. But you say TV is trash. It is. Do you think that you pathened away? You Can you say that? <laughs> pathened away? Made a path? Yeah, made a path. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you I mean, maybe maybe things don't change because of me, but maybe it opens people's mind up a little bit, and then the next person after me has a little bit easier time, and then the next person after that, yeah. Are there young female musicians or artists that thank you for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Should they, though? Um, yes. They should. <laughs> <laughs> and, and do you have the feeling that they are ungrateful? Yes. Yeah, yes. I remember when I told Warren to bring me a present. He did. He brought me this really cool shirt from Dolce and Gabbana. See, I get what I want. All through my wild days, can you turn off the vacuum cleaner? My mad existence, I kept my promise. Don't keep your distance. So, is that, that's Vogue, isn't it? Is that Vogue? Sort of. Sort of, sort of. Do I get to keep any of those? <laughs> the one is the only way to have you at my home. Oh. That's, that's adorable. That's a good one, that's a good one. Yeah. I've got it all worked out in my head. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Antonio fall madly in love with me. Only there was this one rather major obstacle that I'd never really counted on. His wife. <laughs> Needless to say, I never saw or heard from Antonio again. I don't think he's such a good actor after all. And I have to invest my money or I'm going to be taxed or, you know, and I have to find a place and I have to do this and I have to do that and I have to pay everyone. And I have to hire people to make sure that everybody's doing all those things and ugh. What is royal movement? That means either the queen or one of her children are coming in and out and we're not allowed to land. What if we left at noon? Fine. Would that be even better? That would be even better. And that's good for royal movement? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not room for two queens in that country. How did you deal initially with fame? Well, I thought it was fun in the beginning. I mean, I didn't mind it at all. Tell you you like truth. people pointing to you and knowing you on the street? Yeah, sure. It appealed to my ego. <clears throat> I think it's more important that we discuss the fact that you've named your dog after me. No, I didn't name my dog after you. Really? I heard that you did. You see, this is how rumors get well, started. Well, no, my dog is called Madge, but... <laughs> what do you think they can't cope with what you're doing? My honesty. Um my opinions about sexuality, the fact that I am a woman and that I am, that I have success, that I have money, that I have fame and I have fortune and that I do it on my own. I don't need a man in that respect. I think that frightens a lot of people. To a room full of people that I admire, that I appreciate, that I adore, that I love, and that I would all separately at one time or another like to smack the shit out of. <laughs> Boom. 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 Boom.